So let's talk about classic bullet lipsticks, starting with this one that I'm almost positive I'm going to get rid of. This is my NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Ripe Berry. I don't know how I feel about this, to be quite honest. It's pretty, but it's like weirdly cool toned to the point where when I wear this during the day, it comes across as more of a lighter cool toned pink than I want it to be. And it's not, it's like a berry, it's in the name. But the coolness of it really brings up the pink in it as opposed to like the berry in it. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me and my lips, sis. I'm sure you are probably really tired of hearing me talk about the Milani Matte Lipsticks, but this is the only one I have left. This is the shade Match Dreamy, and it's kind of like, on the off chance that I'm really feeling just like a 60s mod nude pink, this is the one I reach for. And this one is the pearl. <laughs> this one is perfect, so I'm gonna keep her. And the one I'm gonna compare it to is right here. This is the Tarte Lip Sculptor in the shade Sangria. The gloss in here is perfect. Gloss is beautiful, such a perfect shade for me. So nude, but also like a statement pink nude. That's such a weird phrase, statement nude, but it applies. The lipstick in here, I have qualms about, I have pause. It's like weirdly too light and peachy for me. And I swatched it right next to the Milani. The Milani's right here and here's the Tarte. So you can kind of see the tonal differences between them. The Milani is like slightly more wearable. They're essentially the same color with a bit of a different undertone and the undertone is enough that the Tarte one is kind of awkward looking on my skin, but the Milani one is great. If I had a brown lip liner, I could probably make both of them work just fine, but I don't. I don't wanna have to buy one just so I can make a lipstick work. I almost want to like take the Milani bullet out of the Milani tube and put it in this and just get rid of the Tarte one. But I'm sure in the process I would destroy both of them. I might actually try to do that though. I might. This is ancient. This is a lipstick by the Italian brand Bella Oggi. I bought it a couple years ago when I was living in Florence. Literally, I purchased this in the year of our Lord, <laughs> um, 2015. It's so ancient, but it's beautiful. This is the color that I wanted Ripe Berry to be, essentially, and I already had it the whole time. When I don't know what lipstick I wanna wear, this is the one I reach for. I love her so much. I need to just like throw all of my efforts into finding an exact dupe for this, and then I can die happy. She's my bambina, okay? We got a couple samples to talk about. This is the Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. This was a 100 point perk that I picked up recently. I've been obsessed with trying this lipstick for literal calendar years, and I never bought it because when I first got into it, it was before I was okay with spending 17 bucks and a lipstick and now I'm trying to go cruelty free so I like don't want to buy a full size of it so I compromised by getting a hundred point perk and I wish I hadn't because I love it. This was a mistake. It's so nice and wearable and comfortable. I love it um, and my life is endless turmoil now. Next up is a sample of the Fenty Beauty Matte Moiselle lipstick in the shade Griselda. I was wearing this in my Reddit AMA video if anybody was wondering. This is straight up like beautiful. I'm probably not going to buy a full size of this just because I don't think that I'm into deep dark like red berries enough at this point to buy an $18 full size one, but I'm going to enjoy having this little baby sample. I'm going to tell you that. I want like an accent wall in my house to be this shade. So if you're planning on building a house for me at any point, just know that, okay? Future contractors, know this. If you couldn't already tell, I'm super obsessed with berry lipsticks and my favorite thing in the world. And so on that note, let's talk about a red lipstick. This is the NYX Matte Lipstick, like the original one, not the Velvet Matte, like the OG NYX Matte. This is the shade Perfect Red. I have an emotional connection to this lipstick. The very first NYX lipstick I ever bought was this one. Not this tube, because that would be gross. This is a perfect red. Like for real, classic red, it's right there. I'm keeping it because what if I need a red lipstick for some sort of vintage inspired type situation? So we have three berry lipsticks left. Let's talk about, let's do Tarte next Tarte. First up, we have Miami Vice from Tarte. This is from the Chicken of the Sea lipstick line. Tarte is my 100% problematic fave brand. Like I stand for their lip products and I feel so bad about it. I have so many, I'm disgusting. This is super similar to Madame from Fenty Beauty's Mademoiselle line that Griselda's from. This next lipstick is the NYX Matte Velvet Lipstick. This is the shade Volcano. This is beautiful. This is like a toned up version of Griselda. Super comfortable, super pigmented, beautiful, long lasting, love her so much. 
And next up, the final bullet lipstick is another one from the Tarte Chicken of the Sea line. This is Berry Mojito. Oh, she real pretty. There she is. I'm so sorry, I'm keeping both of them. Tarte, get your act together. Stop making beautiful lipsticks until you can get your head out of your ass regarding foundation. That'd be great, thanks. Everybody is laughing at you and it's deserved. Anyway, okay. Let's talk glosses. I love them. I wear them all the time. They are by far the lip product that gets the most use on my personal face. Let's start right here. This is the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Crimson Breeze. This was a recent purchase. I was skeptical about this because I generally don't like the feel of oil on my lip, but these are great. The pigmentation is really soft and natural and it's actually really comfortable. Not much to say about that, she's great. This is the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in the shade Cure Royale. This was also in the same Gimme Some Lip and Liner set from a couple years ago that the Smashbox Lip Liner was in. I went through like a year and a half of not loving this color and then something clicked in me and I realized that I'd been wrong the whole time and that this color is actually Fire Flames. Beautiful, deep, berry, comfortable gloss, pigmented, but not too much. Yeah, she's sticking, she's staying in the club. Okay, honestly, I deserve to be dragged for how much tart is in this godforsaken video. Let's just get them all out of the way right now. Ugh! These are the four tart glosses I have. I have the Energy Noir and regular Energy Lip Surgeons glosses right here. I have the Energy Noir Lip tint, which is functionally the same exact thing as the Energy Noir gloss. There's literally no difference between them except this is like a crayon. And I also have the regular Lip Surgeons Natural Beauty Gloss. This is the original Lip Surgeons Energy, the pink shade. Oh my God, you can't see these stupid glosses at all. Why am I like this? This is Energy Noir. This is Energy Noir again, because I'm a disaster. Why did I buy this? Hey guys, it's your good sis editing Nisa here. I realized while watching this footage back that there's a definite tonal difference between the Energy Noir tint and gloss, and I actually wear both of them on a regular basis, and I got both of them on sale, so it's literally not even a big deal, and I'm just being a dramatic little binge. Um, anyway, hope you're having fun in this super tedious video. Bye. And this is Natural Beauty. Honestly, like drag me, I love this gloss. The Lip Surgeons Energy glosses are like honestly such great clear glosses. They're really comfortable. They go on other lipsticks well. They're, I hate them. I hate Tarte, I hate my life. Anyway, moving on. Next up, I have four custom glosses that I made myself using the actual gloss colors and some other glosses or pigments or whatever. And I don't wanna to spend too much time on these because you can't buy them because they, they are uh, colors that don't exist. This is a color I made out of a Sexy Mother Pucker gloss from Soap and Glory. It's a really nice pink nude. I wear it literally like on a daily basis. I love the tingly kind of low key painful feeling of it. I also love the name of the Sexy Mother Pucker glosses to be quite honest. And I also love that they smell like chocolate. So that one is staying. Next up is this gloss that I made out of a clear elf gloss and an LA Girl glazed lip paint in the shade Pinup. It's a really bright pink that I think would be really cute in the summer. I just feel like I'm really not gonna wear it. It's so bright. It's a color that I used to wear a lot, but really don't anymore. The last two are both elf plumping lip glosses. This one's base color is Sparkling Rosé. This one's base color is Mocha Twist. This is Sparkling Rosé. This is beautiful. This was originally way more cool tone of a pink and I turned it into kind of a mauve berry type situation. I love it and I wear it multiple times a week and I'm really proud of the color mixing that I did. I think it looks beautiful and I'm keeping it. Whereas the Mocha Twist one came out kind of orange, I think I wanted a brown situation and it just looks a little bit like I was eating mac and cheese and didn't like wipe my mouth nice enough. Eh, it's fine. It looks way better in the camera, but I just feel like it's not, a, I don't reach for it very often and like whatever. Anyway, this is the Co Bigelow Mentha Lip Tint Gloss and Plum Mint. I've literally had this since the dawn of time and by that I mean like a year. This is great. It's half empty because I wear it a lot and also mix it with other glosses to shear them out a lot. It's great, it's minty, it's comfortable. I might as well just finish it, so I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> okay, folks, welcome to hour 667 of my lip product declutter. We got the home stretch right here. Let's talk about my other two tube glosses. I've said before that I permanently live in the year 2004 in my brain and I think that's pretty clear based on these two guys. The first one I'll talk about is my Burt's Bees Lip Shine. I have the shade Pucker. Oh, this was an impulse buy that turned out to be incredible. I love this. This is like a really like soft, natural pink gloss. It can be sheared out really nice. These are super comfortable and nice and wearable. I love this, dude. Honestly, Burt's Bees lip products from their like recent makeup launch are like, 
a bop and a half. If you have the chance to try them out, I would recommend it. Next up, y'all, <laughs> I don't know if we need to roast Wet n Wild or me for this packaging, probably both of us. Is this not the most J14 Tiger Beat Lip Smackers Disney Channel original movie looking ass lip gloss packaging? Bro, look at this dude. Look at the font, my guy. Look at the little lip fucker. Oh my God. Okay, let me stop roasting this like I don't wear this every day. Like I didn't literally wear this yesterday. Okay, let me. Let me compose myself. I literally have been talking so much, I can't even feel my uvula anymore. This is the Wet n Wild Glassy Gloss. This is litty. I love this. It's like orange. I love a glassy shine. And even though this does have like tiny sparkles in it, if you can see them, which I know you probably can't, they're really super subtle and it just looks like a kind of MAC lip gloss type situation. Last couple. This is the Ruby Kisses Plush Lip Gloss. This is the shade Affair. These are nice. This was an impulse buy because Ruby Kisses recently got added to my local CVS and also these cost like, I don't know, nothing. The color is really pretty. It can be vibrant, it can be sheared out. My issue with this is it's got one of those tiny little doe foots that barely pick up any product. Eventually I might <laughs> like make some more space in it in my daily routine. Just kidding, I actually decided to declutter this too since filming it. Next thing, moving on. Next up is a lip gloss you literally just saw if you watched my first episode of my new series inspo on my channel. This is the Essence Triple XL Shine Gloss in the shade True Love. This is all of my 2004 fantasies. It's like a little bit frosty. It's pink, but not too pink. It's real comfortable. These are fantastic. This is one that I wear all the time. You can tell because all of the lettering is gone from it. Oh my God, we have three left. I'm losing it. This was a recent purchase. This is the NYX Strictly Vinyl. This is the shade Bad Girl. Ooh. Oh, this lip gloss is a bad girl. Gross. Okay, never mind. This is stunning. This is real, ooh. There she is, there's that shine. This is just like sexy. This is, ugh. I'm incoherent now and I'm just like, I just be talking. You feel me? I just be saying words. This is one that I think I'm gonna get rid of. This is the NYX Lip Luster in the shade. Can I read upside down? Yep, Liquid Plum, I can read upside down. See, there it is. It's like a more blackened plum purpley version of Bad Girl. And I just don't like it. Like it looks okay when it's sheared out, but like, you know, it's like whatever. Like I bought this maybe three or so months ago and I just, I don't think I've even worn it outside. Like I'm a disaster. I should be arrested. Thank you for offering. And I'm gonna give this to a friend of mine. Last up, this was a gift from one of my best friends, Bennett. This is the Lorac Lip Luster in the shade Ruby Luster. Okay, basically I was thinking of Bennett's place and I was looking through their makeup and I saw this and I was like, oh my God, this is so pretty. Do you wear this super often? Which is always a question I ask when I'm trying to get my friends to give me a makeup item because I'm a Pisces and I'm manipulative as all hell. And they're like, oh, like not really, but it's so pretty that I kinda wanna keep it. I'm like, okay, sure. And then I bought this really pretty sparkly pink NYX glitter and I love Bennett and Bennett loves glitter. And they were like watching me put it on a New Year's and they were like, oh my God, I love the glitter, I have to buy it for myself. Do you want it? Like, are you sure you want it? I'm like, then I literally just purchased it, of course I want it. And then they put on the glitter and I was like, oh my God, you look so good in that glitter. Do you want to trade the glitter that I just bought for this gloss you have? So Bennett has my amazing pink glitter and I have Bennett's amazing gloss. It was a great trade off for best friends, I love Bennett. Anyway, this is really nice. It's like a wearable, subtly red gloss. It's a little bit more of a high impact version of Natural Beauty from Tarte. Here is Natural Beauty. Like they both have subtle bits of red, but obviously Ruby Luster is a lot more like night, like way more punched up, but beautifully shiny. I love wearing this. The only issue I have with it is that, I don't know if you saw when I was applying, but instead of having a doe foot, it's got a brush tip. And I really hate lip glosses with brush tips. I just don't think they're as useful and I don't think they pick up enough product. I'm not a fan of them. It's beautiful and I love it, I'm keeping it, whatever. Okay, oh my God, I'm delirious. This is what I'm getting rid of. My goal was to get rid of five and I'm getting rid of eight, which is great. And I am keeping... Oh, I just realized I'm not even counting. God, I'm a disaster. <laughs> Got rid of eight and I'm keeping 35 and time is an illusion and I don't even know who I am anymore. Everything is terrible, but I'm glad that I got rid of some lipsticks. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my video. Oh, I was just trying to love you. <laughs> Life is absurd and lipstick is fun. Before you leave, I need you to do a huge favor for me. Go ahead and have an amazing day for me. That'd just be real freaking convenient, my dude. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.
Wow. I'm garbage.